Trail cameras are a great scouting tool, but if you check them too often, they can lead to one obstacle and even a bigger problem. First, the obstacle, it takes time. And if you've got two, three, four, maybe more cameras out there, it could take you up to an hour to check them. And get this, that's an hour you're spending in the woods with your deer. The big problem is that checking trail cameras too often can leave human scent behind and spook deer, maybe even push them off your property. What's the point of using trail cams if they chase your deer away? It's no wonder many hunters want cell phone equipped trail cameras. But check out the price. These cameras can cost two or three times more than models without the cell service. And then there's the monthly fee. It might be 10, 20, $30 per month per camera. It's no wonder that a lot of hunters are shying away from cell cameras. Sure, you might be able to justify buying one, but what good is that gonna do you? It, it'd be like hunting with one bullet or one arrow on uh, one acre of land. So what you want is this, right? You want the ability to use cameras without spooking deer. You want to be able to check them as often as possible, maybe every day often, and you want them to be affordable. Okay, so this is the Cuddy Link home camera, right? Yes, Gordy, this is the home camera. I've got it mounted on this tree right next to the gate where I drive in. Okay. The advantage of this is I can check all of my trail cameras before I even enter my hunting property, before I even get suited up. Cuddy Link is not cell, it's not Wi-Fi. It's a proprietary wireless mesh network. You deploy the cameras and the remote cameras communicate and send images to one home camera. Cuddy Link can connect on a 40 acre parcel or even 2,000 acres. The cameras talk to each other, work out a path to send images home. Okay, I've read the literature. It's 15 cameras, up to 15 cameras, right? Up to 15 cameras plus this, so a total of 16 cameras. Um, can be taken images and all those images will be collected on this one camera's SD card. Okay, how do you identify which images came from which camera when you pull that card out? That... The, the, cam the images are saved on the SD card in a new folder we created called 400 Cuddy. Within this 400 Cuddy folder is separate folders for each camera. Okay. So therefore the camera automatically sorts all the images into folders making it easier to identify where those images came from. And you can physically go in and name those folders then too? The folders get automatically named based on kind of location ID number the user assigns to the camera. Okay. So gotcha. I assign location one to the home, location two to the next remote, location three to the third and so on. And in this particular example, I got eight cameras out here. So I'll have folders location one through location eight. And in those folders will be the images from these cameras. They're all very simple, very intuitive when you look at your SD card. Furthermore, all Cuddy Back cameras, even the non Cuddy Leak ones, allow the user to program a camera identification string into the camera that's printed right on the image. Okay. So now when a guy looks at the image, the name of where that camera is can, can be seen. For example, I have cameras named Bobcat Pass, Miller Park, Vision Field, things like that. Um, so now I'm very, very easy to keep track. And with eight images, it's kind of hard to yeah. know where did this yeah. picture yeah. come from? Well, it's location three, Tamarack Road. So now we're gonna pull the card Put the new one in, she's ready to go again, we can go back and we can view the images from your eight cameras. Put it back up. And now instead of walking out in the woods and checking eight cameras, we check them all in just a few minutes. 